we want to determine the limit if it exists. Looking at the given function, since the domain of the sine function is all the numbers, and so is the domain of the cosine function, and both are continuous over their entire domains, we may be thinking we can evaluate the limit by performing direct substitution. However, if we perform direct substitution, we will have the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero. You may want to pause the video and check this, but this does not mean the limit does not exist. It just means we can't find the limit by performing direct substitution with the function in this form. Remember, we can often perform algebraic techniques shown here on the right to simplify the given function so that we can then determine the limit by performing direct substitution. For this example, we will take the approach of factoring and simplifying. So beginning with the expression for the given function, notice the greatest common factor in the numerator is three sine squared x, and the greatest common factor in the denominator is two. So let's factor out three sine squared x from the numerator, which gives us three sine squared x times the quantity one minus sine squared x. And let's factor out two from the denominator, which gives us two times the quantity one minus cosine squared x. And now using the identity shown below, where sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one, we can substitute cosine squared x for one minus sine squared x, and we can substitute sine squared x for one minus cosine squared x. Let's perform those two substitutions. In the numerator we have three times sine squared x, and then again, one minus sine squared x is equal to cosine squared x. In the denominator, we have two times the quantity one minus cosine squared x, and we can substitute sine squared x for one minus cosine squared x. Notice after performing this substitution, we have a common factor of sine squared x between the numerator and denominator that will simplify to one. Sine squared x divided by sine squared x simplifies to one, leaving us with three cosine squared x divided by two as the simplified function. By simplifying out the common factor of sine squared x, we're eliminating the removable discontinuity of the original function, which remember, does not affect the limit. So again, our final expression for the given function is three cosine squared x divided by two, which means the original limit is equal to the limit of three cosine squared x divided by two as x approaches pi. And the simplified function is continuous at and around pi, and therefore we can now determine the limit by performing direct substitution. The limit is equal to three times the square of cosine pi divided by two. Well, cosine pi is equal to negative one. We need to make and check the unit circle. Remember on the unit circle, x is equal to cosine theta. The terminal side of pi radians is here along the negative x-axis, where the x-coordinate is negative one. So simplifying, we have three times the square of negative one divided by two, which equals three halves. And of course, we can take this graphically or using a table of values. Beginning with a table of values, remember pi is approximately 3.14. So if we approach pi from the left, our value is less than pi. Notice I'm using the values of 3, 3.1, 3.11. And we can see the function values are approaching 1.5 or 3 halves. And if we approach pi from the right, our value is greater than pi. I use the values 3.2 and 3.15 we can see the function values are approaching 1.5. We're looking at the graph of the original function. Now most graphing software is not gonna show removable discontinuity or open points along the graph. Notice how the original function is undefined at pi radians. So there really is an open point here on the graph. Let's go ahead and sketch a vertical line at x equals pi radians, which is here of course. Notice from the graph as we approach pi radians from the left, as well as from the right, we are approaching the function value of 1.5 or 3 halves, which does verify our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.